Why, well, hello there, it's Bucky here with another amazing tutorial, and this one is going to be about inheritance. Um, I actually forgot to teach you guys a little something about inheritance, and that's called overriding methods. Not overloaded methods, those two can get kind of confusing, but anyways, an overriding method is pretty much this. Whenever you build a method in the superclass, and then you inherit it from a subclass, you can't delete any of the methods so what happens if you have a method that you don't want or a method that you want to change a little bit well since you can't delete it or get rid of it the best thing that you can do is change what you want it to do so that's what I'm going to be doing in this tutorial so go ahead and go ahead and click add new file I know you can't see it but you guys know how to do it and click next and I'm going to name this file mom and it's also going to create a mom header so let's go ahead and delete all this and go ahead and again we're working in mom.h the mom header right now and uh... let's see change this to foundation wow i totally messed that up foundation and foundation just like that oh, i hate how it does that so let's see interface mom uh... let's go ahead and add one variable here and we'll make it int num one and we'll just say that this number is going to be like the age or something it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial and we'll add one method that we're gonna override later set num one so we're building a really simple class here all we have is the class mom that has a number which is going to represent her age and we're gonna be able to set that number via a method so let's go ahead and copy this and in mom m you see it already imported mom.h for us um, so the only thing we need to do is build the body to that method so in order to do that all we have to do is take that num1 and set it equal to something like 70 I know it's old but you know it's necessary I'm just kidding it isn't but anyways go in your uh, since we're done with that mom class uh, we just want to go ahead and add a new file uh, that looks good next and you can name this uh, whatever your name is I'm just gonna name mine son so it's pretty clear to see what is inheriting from what so let me just click on source alright so now in your son header what do we want to do well the first thing that we want to do is we want to import from mom.h and why because we don't need to uh... well we're not inheriting right from NS object we are actually inheriting from mom just like that and this there we go I mean we don't need any variables any variables because by default we already have all the mom variables which is num1 so what we're gonna do is just gonna be building two more methods right here and we're gonna be building a method called void set num wait a minute actually that's set num1 and you're like hold on a minute we already have a set num1 in mom h so why would you build another method called set num1 and son hold on if you already have a method and you build it again what happens well since you can't take away ever set num1 once you inherited it from mom what we want to do is we want to rebuild this method build it again but this time we're not going to do what we did in uh, the first time we're not going to set it equal to 70 when we build it again we're going to set it equal to something else so let's just go ahead and well I was going to add a comment but we don't really need to so after this we want to add another method that's just going to void and print number looks good enough so now let's copy these and in our get rid of this let me see if I need to import sun h I already did it for me so now in our implementation remember this is our new and improved implementation for set num1 so by default it was at like 75 or 99 or 70 or something uh, I can't remember something high but now we want to take the num1 and reset it to 14 and now to print out the number uh, something nice and simple Let me make sure I don't have any errors so again anyways like I said Whenever you override a method, what you do is 
before you inherited this method called set number one we don't even have to build this at all but we'll, since we need to change it you need to recreate a method of the same name and it must have the same return type as void and the same number of arguments which is zero so pretty much this header needs to be the exact same as the one that was his mom h it just does something else in the body so now again like I was saying let's just go ahead and print out this number using ns log and let's just put something simple like the number is percent i and let me see let's just go ahead and put num1 so it's going to take that variable whatever it is and it's going to print out the number is that so now in your main program uh, let's go ahead and we need to import sun.header to get all that information since we're going to be building a sun object so sun uh, I'm just going to name my object s and set it equal to just type all this stuff out sun alec get some space for it and now we can go ahead begin building some methods so s which is a sun object set num1 and this is either going to set it equal to let's see what I have 70 or 14 we'll see in a little bit wow I definitely messed that up didn't I that could have been bad it could have been real bad and see I trying to think of s dot what's it called print number I think that's what it was called we'll see in a little bit and once we're done with this just go s release so let's go ahead and run this and let me see if I get any errors and if I don't I'll talk you guys through this program one last time alright it says the number is 14 so it used the sun methods instead of the moms method so what happened here don't forget we have a mom class this is the main super class we also have a sun class now this sun class inherited all the methods and variables from the mom class but what it did is when it inherited this method right here it kind of rewrote the method to use it how it wanted to use it so the mom by default set the number to 17 but when the son inherited the method it says alright I'm changing this up right away I'm actually gonna use the same method but I'm gonna set the number to 14 instead so whenever you called the method right here through son even though it inherited it that the number was 70 it changed it and turned the number into 14 and that is why it prints out 14 so that's what overriding a method does it pretty much says alright even though you can't remove the methods you inherit you can change how they act so I mean that's pretty much the basics of this and in order to make an over um, a method override it you must create a method with the exact same name it must have the exact same return type which was void right here and it must have the same number of arguments so that if this had an argument passed in it, it would be a totally different method so that is the beauty of kind of overriding if you don't understand then uh, I know it can be kind of confusing but if you have any questions then just leave me a comment in my forum I'll post the link below and also I'm gonna be taking all this source code Dang, we typed a lot of source code this tutorial and I'm gonna be posting it in my forum link below once again so thank you guys for watching don't forget to check out my forum don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys later